I think it will always be hard to top my wedding day as one of the most significant days of my life. This was the day that I stood before a church filled with friends and family, and I looked this extraordinarily beautiful woman in the eyes, and I said, I, Michael, take you, Jennifer, to be my wife. I promise to be true to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health. I will love you, and I will honor you all the days of my life. One of the really unique things about a wedding is that you tend to be surrounded by all these people who've known you in all these different walks of life. Well, how did they get there? Well, we, we invited them. We sent invitations ahead. I mean, this is the standard thing you do when you're going to have a, an important event in your life, whether it's a, a wedding or an anniversary or a birthday. Now, when you send out these sorts of invitations, people have to respond to them, right? The fact that I mailed out an invitation to my wedding doesn't mean that these people were going to be there. But because they responded, they were there to celebrate. Well, if you look at the story of Scripture, this is how God has always handled things. There's always been prophets and messengers and patriarchs who've gotten the word out for him. And so this Sunday, when we look to the gospel about John the Baptist, we're hearing the story of another messenger. John the Baptist is like that wedding invitation, is like a press release. He's that herald that goes ahead, invites others to come. Now, although John is, in a sense, the last of these prophets, these Old Testament prophets, he's by no means the last messenger God has sent into our world. And in the spirit of John the Baptist, there are often people who stand up there giving a similar message. Prepare the way for the Lord. Turn back to God. Repent. And in much the same way as people responded to my wedding invitations and came to the wedding, Do we respond to those heralds, to those prophets, to those voices like that of John the Baptist who call us to ready the way for the Lord?